one of the experiences was one of, one of his teachers told him, you have to remove nafs ego. That's the only problem any human being has, nafs. The Holy Prophet says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, A'da adu wika nafsuka lati bayna janbayk. Your greatest enemy is the ego, which is between your two sides. Not this person or that neighbor or this country, no, in here. And that's the mark of the real believer, that he points the finger of blame not at others, but at himself. And one of the things that were disclosed to Naqshband Hazrat was the meaning of the 77 branches of faith. You know, the famous hadith, that Iman has sab'ain wa sab'ain as shu'bah has 77 branches. A'laha shahadat an la ilaha illallah. The highest is the shahada, there is no God but Allah. Wa adnaha izalatul adha an it tariq. And the lowest is removing some obstacle from the road. So you're on the road and you see that there's a, something's fallen from another vehicle and you stop your car and you get out and you move it. That's a kind of basic human thing not for you, you've seen it, but it's for human solidarity with some unknown person. And the understanding that the Sada Naqshbandiya have of this is that this includes the real other. What is the real other, the real harm, the real obstacle on the way? It's the ego. Uh, the basis of everything has to be to remove this obstacle that is within ourselves, otherwise this path will be closed to us. So, so many of the things that he had to do in his youth as a young man, when he wanted to be as a young person will, in the world, embracing the world, enjoying the world, being amazed by the world, tasting its sweetness, <laughs> that's not a wrong thing. So for him and for the people of his way, the obstacle on the road, the other, the tariq, is the, the ego 